yo, welcome back to another episode again of Zalsevis of the Month. My name is Mukutze Mlawa, and as always, we're here counting down the top 10 fire MC verses from Zimbabwe and hip hop for the month of May. As always, before we get started, do remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, you know, we are on the road to 1K. So please help us get there, okay? We really, really, really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's count them down. Coming through at number 10, it is Kuna K on 6 a.m. Yeah, Vangani Vakandi Mokiran Guanani Vurira Kambani Gurira Chapati Vangani Vakandi Tumira Kanjani thank you. Very, very, very late entry here from Uyera Dragon. Uh, that's what it goes by. I think it's like a nickname for Fire Spitter. I, I must admit that's a really cool nickname. Munanuera Dragon. Uh, that's if that's your spirit animal. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. But yeah, I like this verse. It was a very unique, uh, unique flow, which which I like. The visuals were very clean as well. The instrumental something I haven't had um, in a while because everyone seems to be either doing drill or boom bap, right? either either one of those two. So this was pretty dope. And you know the flow pattern and how he ends his rhymes was pretty dope. Like from the first verse and the second verse. The first one ending with the similar rhyme pattern and the second one with a similar rhyme pattern as well kind of like what MV Pani was doing on that Borakam Gede Kweche so this one on the second verse which is my pick it was pretty cool it had the whole Mambo uh, Duterere Musanti Terere flow just the whole verse throughout which which was dope it didn't really work out for the first verse because he wanted to say pajamas but because he had to rhyme he said pajamas which sounded Come on, okay? But the second verse, absolutely love it. It's Kuda K, and that's our number 10. K Pelendo Yendere the K is for King Diri Mambo Zadu Terere Young Kuda K in Dino Big One Nema Chambere. Coming through with number nine, it is Reaper on Stray Bullets. Michael got me writing on a champ low, samurai flips where my kids be describing me. Before I even listened to this track, I just knew I was gonna like it. One thing for sure that really stood out if you follow Third World Chronicles is their promotion for the material that they put out is top notch it could be either for merch it could be for songs it just slaps and i just loved their media rollout like their promo for the song before it even put out it got me interested that you know what even if it was going to turn out to be bad i was still going to enjoy it because the effort that was put in was really really dope and uh reaper starts us off here and you know it's a very solid verse um I, I like it. Um, one thing I must say is I didn't feel the conviction um, in his voice. I just didn't feel like he was really like he was. He, he really felt it. But other than that, everything, everything else, everything else is great. The flow is great. The rhymes are great. Well, about the rhymes, he has this very unpredictable rhyme scheme so there's there's this whole thing where someone says a bar and then you think they're gonna rhyme with this particular word and then they don't so I'm, I, I don't know if it's intentional or you just ran out of words to rhyme with if it's intentional great kiss me guess it but for some people it might be an acquired taste you either like it or you don't like it but strong verse from reaper bringing the raps back i love it and a contract live from the third world seven units chronicles get the oracles with the narratives we're putting on the wax get the water drip on the pool moving on to our number eight it is sky on morango masharu kare kangu ndi chikura ndai tamba ana super mario pa nintendo nana ruka rucheko na rutendo ketos katento batano ba mengo tabu Okay, so one thing you can't take away from Sky is his flow. It's, 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 it's amazing and he has a really cool voice. I think we've all been standing over his, his voice and just how he brings the words out. It's cool. It's effortless either from Venek or to English. It's just great. There's a really couple cool witty lines is something that you would expect uh, from Sky. I love it. At one bar he goes on to say, uh, if you're not a vegetarian, then we'll probably meet. It's cool. It's, it's, it's witty straight to the point. But again i don't know if sky watches this video so, <laughs> but honestly because we you know he sent us this track and we're like oh, okay cool you know hoping that maybe he watched he watched the previous video i, I know he th i think he did right but again the same criticism that i had for the last sky verse that was on this show it was too long again it's way too long man i'm just like yo a whole verse for three minutes i 
you can put your coin point across in 16, 18 or 20 bars at the most. This was a little bit too much. I also didn't like the floor switch up uh, when you start rapidly, rapidly and sprinting too much. I, I just didn't like that. But everything else, everything else, everything else is, is, is great. Um, I think uh, his flow makes him get away with, with a lot of things, except when he starts using unnecessarily big words like you're a bunch of caricatures. There's no need, <laughs> no need for that. Who am I to tell wordsmiths which words to use? But let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. <laughs> That's our number eight with Sky. But they love to bleed. Can't no single the vegetarian, then we'll probably meet. Yep, I'm sick and tired of this. I'm just thinking the glamorous whack rappers fuck a meter in front of this cameras. Moving on to our number seven, it is drastic, the authentic on another day, another dollar. This is probably my favorite drastic song. I mean, he's put out a lot of content lately. Definitely one of the most consistent artists out there. I love the song more than Ghetto. I love the song more than Chimuti. And it's just amazing. Also, the hook by 10 Miles Logan is up there. Now, like I said, I love the song, but also because it really captures who Drastic is and as an artist. I think if you're going to call yourself the authentic, you kind of have to be authentic. And this one felt authentic. It felt truthful. And it was just capturing the whole uh, struggle that every Zimbabwean goes through. And I absolutely love all of it. And I just love it when Drastic is not talking about being on the mic and being literally greater than, than everyone else. I mean, it's cool for, for a couple of songs, but like consistently it gets kind of played out. So I, I really did love everything uh, about this. He even has probably my favorite sports bar <laughs> of late. I mean, we'll have to put it here, of course. But he says, Kusuera, Kutaura, Ana Ronaldo, Ezefa Chawaya Nepondo, Yem Rio. Because that's what everyone does. You spend your whole time talking about sports as if these guys pay your bills. I always say, don't be stressed by millionaires. But yeah, I love that bar. It's a sports bar, but I love it. I love it still. <laughs> <laughs> That's drastic, the authentic are coming through there. You all go there and support his art, man. This guy is top notch. Coming through with number six is paint a fresco on Pride is the Devil Freestyle. My pockets ain't fat enough to be having no babies and wiping up. But you know, if you call me, I'm piping up. Have you ready to report it and type it up? Just so all of your homies want Probably our biggest climber on our verse of the month. I really do love to see this cat uh, back again on this list. And yo, <laughs> he, he really killed it. Also, because, you know, there was a really strong high when J. Cole dropped. So, like, everyone was was on that euphoria so i tried to a little bit calm down before i listen to this because the, the beat on pride is the devil is just it's just right there so you could be saying a bunch of nothing and and it will sound cool because the the beat the beat is crazy but yo this was this was cold man this was cold maybe because he wanted j cole to see this i don't know i don't know i don't know what what rappers be thinking man i don't know what they're thinking but it was a really cool technically sound verse like it sounded clean there were some cool references as well it didn't seem to be fumbling and stumbling it was just it was just like rap now or die i, I just loved everything about it but the only frustration that i have is that i'm like dude if you can rap like this why don't you make more songs like this because come on i mean this wasn't a song but it was it was amazing so i loved it and that's why it's our number six Inside, you know I want you to Even though I don't know why I don't really be showing you Yes, I'm afraid you'll get big-headed and leave On account of all the times that I got played in the sea so Moving on to number five That's a denim woods on the cockroach freestyle I fuck the stab a bitch in the neck but she don't know my name And I clearly got no dagger But this dick could do the same I was breaking from the shackles For my past so I could change In the mirror it was bang till it the real is back. I'm Dara Huni in the building and he's talking his ish. I loved it, man. I loved everything about it. I always love dudes who just rap flawlessly and it seems like I think there might be an album coming because uh, Denny Moods' rollout has been crazy. I think last month he dropped the serial freestyle uh, and also did the lemon pepper, lemon pepper freestyle, which is a little bit overdone, but it doesn't matter. We like it. And this one was dope. Like the visuals of the black and white and stuff. Sometimes I'm like, I am proud. Loves him hip hop, man. 
with a little bit of Congolese, but I love it. <laughs> I love, I absolutely, I love everything about it. Like there's just some guys who just rap flawlessly, who just rap with authority, with a really cool, abrasive character. And you're just like, yeah, man, if we're gonna export um, this talent and give it to outsiders, like this is what we have to offer, then sign me up. I am absolutely here for it. It's Denimals in the building. I hope there's an album coming soon, man. But if you don't like Denimals, I don't even know what you're doing now, man. But go check it out. It is top notch. It's our shit. Had a dream, I made it, niggas hated, I was scorching. I was on my path and leveled up, I made a fortune. Think back to the time we was the same, I had to force it. Now I'm up on TV. Well, moving on to our number four is Lucretius on the Yay, 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 the remix. If it wasn't for Lex and Calvin and Hannah, I'd probably never know where I'd be now. She was off peak, I was starving for weeks, made a shit like machine, didn't throw in his house. Hey man, how do you not like Lucretius, man? In fact, do yourself a favor, go check out his Twitter bio and this dude says I'm the hardest artist out there. And he really is. You can tell from this flow, from the cadence, from his voice, like everything is just there to tell you that I'm a better rapper than you. Also, quick fun fact, if you actually notice, I think it was the first verse of the month that we ever did. It was actually... Uh, then Moons and then, Luc and then Lucretius and we're back again with the same order. I don't know. I don't know what that says, but you know, uh, I, I love it. I love it. I think the best thing about this particular verse is, is the beat, like that beat by Blackie. Mm, man, it just slaps so that with his style, it really complements him really, really well. Like he comes off very cocky. He comes off very authoritative. Like he is really talking in your face. He's barking like they like to say in barrel rap uh, circles. And, 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 I, and I just love it. Like I'm not going to try and quote some of the lines here because my nieces are watching, but, but it, it, was, it was really dope. And I, I loved the technique. I loved his flow. I loved the cadence. Everything was just up there. Lucretius is that dude, man. I'll go check out uh, his new project. He dropped uh, some, some great songs out there. Apex is there. It's, it's amazing. So go check it out. Lucretius is coming through no, number four. Sporting we food and he raps, I'm like, damn it, this nigga's a vibe. Next time I meet Lucas, his bouncer just moved this. I looked at my dude and said, it's a child. Niggas are gone. I Moving on to a number three, it is Luminous on the Sunday morning freestyle. My moves are premeditated, nothing's but accident. Yeah, Luminous got the tribe, you know, we lit it. Planning to make a melee by the time I'm 50. <laughs> I mean, I think this verse was really written with the sole intention of letting us know it's as I say that, you know, I can rap and I can rap better than most of these cats. And you know what? It did, it did the job. It did the job. It was flawless. It was cool. It was really chill. It felt very freestyly, if, even if the words were written, you know, in the purest sense of a freestyle, but everything was, was really cool. I mean, we even get a shout out at the end. It was like, mm corruption it was like you want us to but it's okay <laughs> it's okay i just loved um i just love this whole verse i mean it has a bit some on and offs uh, because it's a whole like laid back sort of nonchalant type pattern is really it can throw you off sometimes but 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 i liked it so some bars were a little bit corny like uh, it's a bit harder like i'm chewing on a testless chappy Come on, man. But like before, when when he starts, the dude says, my interviews are interludes, paying attention is piecing clues together for better views for the man that you've been vibing to. Ah, <laughs> yeah, man, now we're writing, now we're talking, man. And I love everything about that, man. You know what, he could be talking about uh, broomsticks and uh, I, don't, I don't know, anything. But if you just pattern your rhymes like that, it just sounds super cool that everyone just makes a stank face like it's dope even if it's not really, you know what I mean? But, but it was cool and I love that. My hair is nappy, I'm black and brown and I've been told that I'm so crazy. They say it's as they say, I'm like new sheriff in town. I'm the low in the game while y'all cannot be past the bar. Right, coming through to our number two. It is six, the low coming through again on Stray Bullets. They no complex, all about equality. <laughs> so I might snap if I feel you cheating me. <laughs> Probably the most bar heavy verse uh, on Stray Bullets and as I alluded to earlier on like the media rollout for this track was great but man a 6 the low I think it's his 
third fourth feature on verse of the month that just shows you the work ethic and the consistency this guy's been putting in could be the, the verses the videos podcasts anything man like it is always on point and we love to see it and we love to reward a great artwork as well man because like he really went in uh in this verse it's really really dope like you'll start a scheme break it off connect it with another scheme and then bring it back as well like it was is really really cool to see like when it starts off uh going on some uh i love the tendency to be menacing with the energy that we're channeling then it goes on to say thanos complex i might just snap if you feel you're cheating on me take your better half like you know it's like really really cool but still flawless as the verse goes in man and i am here for that because those are the bars that we love to hear when you see that someone is taking effort in writing and they're imploring all these literary techniques and devices and my my heart man my heart my heart for lyricism like i just i just love it and six coming through and you can't you can't debate you can't debate with this guy and you know what one thing I also like, it seems like he wants to fight a lot because he's always talking about beef. Uh, on this one, he says, if you want beef, I got you covered like k lights. <laughs> it's not the best bar there, but I just found it, <laughs> found it really, really cool. Because, you know, beef, you cover it. <laughs> like k lights <laughs> because last <laughs> i think it was in january ah no 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 it was the previous month uh he said something along the lines of uh, if you want beef let's price and because you know <laughs> like miller it's really cool and then he brought k lights on this one i, I guess it's contextualizing for zimbabwe <laughs> but it's really dope and that's 60 low uh, coming through as our number two Talk, but I ain't talking dirty sprite You want beef? Got you covered like cane lights uh. I don't think if you already knew this But you should probably know this And our number one for the month of May And Zazie's verse of the month Is Malcolm Mufunde on Boom You can call me too ignite I'm at your best rappers That's a sentence that could have me on death row I'm just kidding I'm a bad joker like Lato Okay, so before I get into this verse, man, I just want to say a big congratulations as well to Malcolm Funde and Cynic on the project Trash, which actually had this track uh, hitting over 20k uh, streams on Audio Mac. So congratulations. It's a great, great, great win uh, for hip hop. It's also a great, great win for lyrical rap. So don't you dare tell me that people aren't listening to Zim Hip Hop or people don't like lyrical rap. Because it then answers my question is there room for lyrical rap in in zim hip-hop seems like there is seems like there is all right let's get into this verse man you know what we could have picked any 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 verse on on the trash project and it would still slap but this was actually my favorite one because it was the opening track and it had it had it man it had it had everything from the opening line it was just asserting his authority and i could tell this dude is not here to play like some of my favorite bars uh, he goes on to say uh, this is starting off he says no timeline necessary i'm the best in all rappers you can call me suge knight i met your best rappers <laughs> because you know suge knight with allegations that it's dope it's just just go look it up if 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 this is not enough for you go to genius.com and they'll unnote a, a lot of that for you it, it was dope he even says that's a sentence that could have me on death row you know like death row records that's a sentence the sentence that could have me killed i'm just kidding uh, i'm a bad joker like Leto, like jared Leto. if you watch suicide squad they say he was a very bad joker i thought he was a bad joker as well ah come on <laughs> Like Sebastian from La La Land. My thunder bars go over diamonds like my girl heads. I'm the future of the oaks. Come on, man. Even the throwaway bars are like dope, dope, dope punchlines. Listen, if if you struggle with writing, because I see some dudes really do struggle with, if you struggle with writing and if you want people to take you serious as a lyrical rapper, just call up Malcolm and he'll write for you some of these bars, man. Because, yo, they're, they're really crazy. And he goes on to say, uh, y'all talk jazz like Sebastian from La La Land. My kind of bars uh, go over dumb heads like Maga heads. Might even need to put like 
little graphics here so that people can, can get the picture of how hardcore that is like i said even the throwaway bars are just crazy as well my writing is superhuman i use stationery to contribute to the movement i use stationery is a stationery to write to contribute to the movement stationery being st static Ah, dude, I just, I just, I just love when people take the time to pen in the art, and you can see that there is a consistent thought uh, about this. Now, if I was to give any critic whatsoever, I just think there are way too many Johnny Sins references uh, on some of these verses. Just, just <laughs> way too many for my liking. But, but, but I love it. I, lo I love it. Even if you go to other songs as well. And now I'm, I feel like I'm even giving an album review now. But if you go into other songs as well, this dude says, I know brothers who carry the heat like Jimmy Butler. It's a great sports bar himself. And I don't even want to count it on our sports bar counter, but it was just, it was just really great. So really, really dope, dope, dope writing from Malcolm Fude, man. Go check him out. Uh, I think you'll really, really love his stuff. He even has some songs in Venek as well that you would that will make you that will make your mind go crazy with that being said i've been mugu david labo this has been zasevis of the month do let us know in the comments who your top 10 is let us know if we left out someone we probably did so uh, do uh, let us know in the comments a uh, tag uh, your favorite artist let us know you can find us on social media at zase media on everything and then we'll be back again next month support us buy us a coffee send us eco cash because you know if you really like the content and you want to see this keep on going we would really appreciate it with that catch you again next month